La 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 la. Ooh. Howdy, folks. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Welcome to the routine of making pots <laughs> in the pottery. Yeah, I'm just actually in the middle of, I've been doing some, uh, some glazing here. These GPs, GP bolts. So I've got to just switch these over. Just get these guys. This is why it's good to have uh, wear boards, you see. So you can you can move stuff around in the in the pottery. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do some glazing here, show you that. I've got a few things to show you along the way. These are regular GP bowls. One pound of clay thrown six and a half inches wide. Um, you notice they have a rolled rim. Okay, and they're fired. They're not glazed on the outside. They're only, they're only glazed on the inside. And they're not glazed over the rims. So, so that we can we can put them face to face like that and fire them in the kiln like that. Okay. It's the this is particularly good to have a a rolled rim. Keep it keeps them round, you see. And it also serves as a location point when you're when you're joining them together like that for one to locate on top of the the other. So, yeah, I'm just going to do some glazing here. All right. So I have my my bucket of glaze, uh, some clean water. Oh, it was clean. I'm going to replace it now. Yes, the weather has turned cold, so um, let's just move this down a bit, this camera business. Ugh. So just bring you in on what I'm doing, a little bit, yeah, all right, I'll bring it up to the camera, show you what I'm doing. So. This is my standard uh, milky white glaze. That's the recipe. Um, it's this glaze over here that you see. You see it a lot. It's a very good glaze. It's very stable. It's very good at cone 10. It doesn't run. Okay. So I've got some cleaner water here and a sponge because I'm going to have to do some wiping off. Okay, let's get one of these. Grab some of this freshly stirred glaze and we're going to pour into there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this, take, dip, take the glaze down to the edge of the pot almost, but not over the edge. And then I rotate it around like this. When I've gone all the way around, 
I then pour it out, take a, a clean sponge, and where I poured it, I, I wipe it away. I also wipe it back so that the line is the same all the way around, you see. I want to make sure that there's no glaze left on the top edge here where I poured out because that would be fatal, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm going to put him down. Before I do that, I'm just going to give him a little spritz of water like that because these are raw, you see. They're not bisque. I don't want them to crack. I've never had one crack, I have to say, but uh, it's good to take precautions, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Tip it, and then you do need somewhat of a steady hand to do this. Even then, sometimes I look at what I've done and I think, whoa, what's up with your, you've got the shakes or something. Okay, all the way around like that, and then pour out. Are we in the picture? Yeah, good. All right, so here, I'm gonna wipe that like that. Careful to make sure that we, we do a good job of the wiping really don't want these to stick together because they're fired face to face on their lips and it's clay to clay you know and there's no glaze in between even so sometimes they stick a little bit so just spritz that a little bit with a bit of water This is the way I do my regular GP bowls. Pour in. Now, if perchance you do a dribble, like I did on this one, on the actual edge, what I'll do is, as I rotate as I rotate this around, I'll make sure that that's be, that'll be the place here. That'll be the place where I pour it out over. So you pour like that, let the drips go down, and then you lift up that edge like that. You see, so the drips then drip back down on the inside. It's just a way of getting A little less drippage. Yeah, so as you do this, you, you want to make sure that the sponge is, is clean. Don't forget to rinse the sponge off. Okay, so you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> we'll do one more of these and then I'm going to move on to something else to show you. Just stuff I'm doing, you know, here in the studio. No big deal, nothing very. Nothing very exciting particularly, but you know. You can get quite speedy at doing this actually, if you, you practice it. Thing is to do it quickly and cleanly without a lot of mess. 
A lot of people you see when they start doing glazing, they're very messy. I was. Alright. So cast your eye over it, make sure there's no dribbles or missed areas. And so on and so forth, okay? Till they're all done. Okay, what else have we been doing? Let's grab the camera. Grab the camera. Yeah, we're doing some... Oh, I had a Zoom class today earlier on. Uh, I've thrown these guys just to show you. These are little basically lidded caddies that are now they're a little on the soft side but awaiting, awaiting trimming. These are cap lids with a flange which we measure with the calipers um, just different different sizes they're sort of randomly thrown really slightly bowed side not dead straight dead straight wouldn't look so good okay just to show you those um, we'll go over there to the decorating table uh, I've got a cylinder here which I yeah, it was part of my demo today on the teaching people, you know, how to throw. Using, using Zoom, using a webcam, seems to work quite well. Um, and people, if they send me the invite on Zoom, they can press the record button and then they can record their, uh, the session and keep the session then as a record. So yeah, I've been doing some decorating here and let me just actually grab the tripod. Just bring that around here. Just quickly talk about some um, Decorations. We're doing a new decoration today, which I'll show you. So I was just doing uh, some pretty regular decorating. Um, these I was throwing the other day, you saw me throw. So I did, you know, standard decoration, which I do uh, with my brushes here. Uh, different, similar ones, different designs. Um, simple repeat decorations. They work the best. And then I did a new decoration. Uh, this one. I can pick it up without smudging it. That guy. So that's going to be going in the kiln actually tomorrow, that one. I've got a firing tomorrow. This guy as well, which is a little squashed pot with a window decoration. I did this one ages ago. Just haven't got around to firing it. And then some more bud vases. Like that. Um, yeah, I came up with this design. It sort of happened by... Well, I got an inspiration, I guess. So I've got one here, I could actually do it. Do one. Just a minute, let me just get this, swing that around a bit so we can, I may just have to put some water here on these guys, uh, on the, my pigments, my cobalt and my, my iron pigment. And um, 
Yeah, so the way I, how I did this was, I got a bit of sponge, like this. Um, just get this pigment ready here. Something like that. That noise in the background is a uh, is my ham radio. It's it's talking. So yeah. So we take this piece of sponge, which is just a piece of piece of sponge. I don't know if you can see that, and um, I basically cut it so it's like round and then I heated up a nail and I made some I burnt some kind of gro grooves in it I don't know if you can see that so what we're going to do is I'm just going to dip that in that in that pigment like that and now what I'm going to do is we're just going to apply it to to the pot like that you see lightly uh, um, uh, the trick is to get it so it's not you don't do it too heavily I don't mind if it's a little bit light and then again like that and like that and then like that and then what we do yeah it, do it doesn't kind of come out quite cleanly exactly as I want it to so I just where it didn't kind of, I just kind of do that. I use the blade of a knife, you know, to just improve it a little bit. Something like that. And then what I do is go around like that. There's nothing like um, doing things in front of a camera. <laughs> and if you felt shy, you know. Yeah. Yeah, have a go using brushes.
This one's got four decorations on it, the others have only got two. I went a bit overboard on this one maybe. Yeah, you do find that with uh, with pigment decorations that there's you do sometimes just want to give them a little adjustment. You know, they didn't quite come out as you wanted them to. All right, so there it is. Hope hope that's in the picture. You can see. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a case of experimenting isn't it with doing decorations and you'll find that some will work for you and others will yeah you sort of think nah, maybe I won't repeat that one again you know so thanks for watching folks I hope this video has been inspirational to you um, if you want to come on a workshop write to me we have plenty of openings in-person workshops I'm talking about here in the studio your own wheel your own clay and you'll have me hassling you <laughs> working alongside you and um, helping you helping you to improve that's that we've also got uh, zoom workshops which I'm doing I have a lot of interest from Zoom workshops, people from UK, doesn't matter where you are, you can be in Brazil, you can be in Terra del Fuego, you can be in Alaska, hello Alaska, um, it really doesn't matter, if you've got a potter's wheel and you want some tuition, you can get it, so uh, write to me if you're interested in that, Simon Leach Pottery, it's Gmail, Use the thing on the website, the contact form. Uh, what else? Leech treadle wheels. You know, the, the old story. <laughs> the old story, it still continues. This wheel's waiting to be picked up, actually. This particular one here. That's sold. I've got to dust it off. Hasn't even had a, been any clay thrown on it, that one. As yet. Um... So yeah, that's about it really. Well, I haven't got anything else to say other than, you know, keep practicing. <laughs> I'll see you around. See you around town. Hasta la vista. Bye.